So since it's kind of wet, nasty, and rainy out today, we're gonna stay in the garage and we're gonna work on this panel. I still got some uh, work to do. I need to beef it up. There's some cracks and it's just, it's frail <laughs> and it needs some beefed up. So I got some Bondu glass the other day that has fiberglass strands in it. So it can flex a little bit. Also got some brushes and the brushes are for the resin because I ran out the other day. So uh, we'll be using that as well. I got a bunch of mat and cloth all cut up. I only have six cups and I'm out. I am fresh out. So I'm gonna try and concentrate on, you know, the cracks, this, how it's all, you know, super thin right there. That is through. So I'm gonna definitely hit this area. That's a crack. Darn it, there's a spot there too. So I may need to get more of this, I don't know. Resin is dry, super tough, and I definitely think it'll beef this up. You can see all the cracks. So what I'm gonna do now, I saw this video and this guy looked like he knew what he was doing. He got a little burr on his uh, little rotary kind of tool and he ground all these cracks out. Not all the way through, but he ground, you know, a little radius in the uh, cracks and he used this Bondo glass. He kept calling it Dyna glass. And he said that stuff will flex and it won't chip and crack like Bondo because a lot of this, it has been Bondo and is Bondo. So I'm hoping that this holds up. So this edge is kind of jagged and I left it like that on purpose. I had tape, well I took the tape off and now it's kind of sticking up. So a file works super good on edges like that. That's a good one. You just kind of file and get it to where it meets this outside like profile and you can pretty much call it a day. So fast forward about two hours and this is what I got. I have been going absolutely crazy with that little carbide burr on the Dremel and pretty much just digging out any kind of crack. All these were little hairline cracks. So this part right here, how it's super big and wide and long and just says whole area is crap. So that is the area and you can see, that's the area that I built up behind there and I knew I knew this whole area was crap, which is why I built it up behind there because I knew by the time I started digging at this, it would be gone. It just flakes up and it's just, it's crap. Honestly, this probably needs to replace at some point, but I'm sure uh, what I'm doing now is gonna save it for probably a while. So um, I'll definitely be able to put up with it. There was one guy in a video, he put this on, a piece of steel, and he literally bent it in half and this stuff was bending with the steel. And Bondo would never do that. It would just crack immediately when it bent. And um, this stuff flexes, I know it does because it's just on the side of the van and it's fiberglass and I know hitting bumps and stuff, it, it flexes. So hopefully this flexes with that and doesn't crack like the Bondo and hopefully I got enough of this bad stuff out to where this will just kind of like adhere to this and like become one. Away here for like an hour it's about midnight and I know this spot here needs uh, built up I know this spot here needs built up as well so I'm gonna put one more layer on this and let this thing dry overnight all right one more layer and I'm done so the thing to do with Bondo is before it dries all the way and it's still a little soft you get like a cheese grater rasp file like a coarse file whatever you want to call it and you want to knock down all the super high spots like you could probably see that that's like a little glob and when it's soft i mean that stuff just rubs right off and it, it takes a lot of work out of the sanding when it finally dries because it dries pretty tough and you'll be sanding your life away so just a little tip Figured I'd throw it out there. And I used a little bit more hardener this time. And I think that, uh, I think I need to start doing that because it's a little bit cooler out and this stuff's drying a lot faster. So 
I think I'm gonna definitely stick with a little bit more hardener for next for tomorrow. So this file is helping me a ton. It's pretty coarse, and I would say it's for like aluminum, like to really like get after it when you're uh, trying to hog out some material. But the straightness, like the straight edge on this file, is helping me so much because it just as you slide it along, it can't get all crooked. And like if you're using your fingers, you can go real low. And also on the top, you can go like angle. You can, I mean on the bottom, this thing is freaking awesome. That's all I got, that's all I can do. It's 1245, I've been sanding on this thing and bondoing and dremeling and hogging out fiberglass for hours now. And honestly, I got further than what I thought I would. It's pretty straight. All the corners and edges are good. I got most of all, well, all that I could see, the cracks and just the falling apart fiberglass replaced with this uh, Bondo glass. So I'm hoping my dad will mess with this a little bit because he's like super good, like super good at body work. I don't know how and why he's so good, but um, I'm gonna try to pawn this off on him tomorrow because I gotta work on my timing on my van. It's gonna be nice out. I gotta get water in the, I gotta get coolant in this thing. I have just straight water in it. Um, I gotta get coolant in it because man, it's getting cold at night and I don't want it to freeze. I don't have to worry about it. So I gotta get on this thing. I got all the parts, all the updated timing stuff, and it's ready to be put together. All the gaskets, everything. So yesterday we did get that truck. It's not here right now. My brother's out driving it, which he shouldn't be because the tags are for a Subaru <laughs> and it's a Datsun. Um, but yeah, tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow, we'll get a good video on that. It has a V8 in it. Dude, it's freaking, it's sweet. It's gonna be, it's gonna be so fast. It's gonna be sick, dude. It's gonna be awesome. I can't wait.